Hello folks and welcome to another brief video review with inkdependence.com. Today's ink is one of my very favorite new inks. Uh, it's a J Herbon ink called uh, well, Cacao do Brazil, maybe? I don't know. I can't pronounce that very well. Uh, but in any case, this is a very cool ink, despite the name being unpronounceable by my uh, American tongue. Uh, it's a very, very cool ink. I don't have anything else like it in my collection. I don't know if there is anything else like it. If you look here at this swatch, uh, this is just a few drops, like a couple of little bits of drops I shook out of the converter on the page because uh, I'm almost out of this whole vial of ink. Um, you can see that it's a gray brown at the edges here-ish and uh, over here it's definitely gray but the center is definitely kind of this woody brown uh, I'm a big fan of that. I liked that uh, pecan last time but, and I still do like pecan but this one uh, is a very cool ink as well. So anyway this is uh, Cacao, Cacao de do Brazil uh, that I can't say. I've had it in this Monteverde Autistic Crystal since Christmas. It's the only ink that's been in this pen. And you can see that the converter is screwed all the way down. I was trying to get every last drop because this is the very dregs of that uh, vial. It was a Goulet vial. So it's only two mils. It's not a tremendous amount of ink to use in a few months, but uh, I have been kind of sparing with it. Uh, and also I just counted the other day and I have 23 pens inked up. So it's not as if this is the only pen I use. Uh, but I do love using this ink. Uh, I have to get a bottle of this at the next pen show I go to, which will be the end of May, and I'm pretty psyched about that. In any case, the behavior of this ink is excellent. It doesn't feather or spread, doesn't seem to uh, bleed, even on your common office type of papers. Uh, I saw, you know, dots and stuff coming through on uh, filler, pa filler paper, but this stuff is super cheap and everything bleeds through it. So, uh, of course, here on Rodeo, you're not going to see anything like bleed. All right, let's see how this does with water. I don't particularly think it's going to be water resistant at all, but you never know. Yeah, true to form, it's not really at all water resistant. Um, in fact, some of those swirls look like it's almost taken completely off. So let's blot it away. Blot, blot, blot. Oh, I got a little blue from my blotting paper here. And uh, yeah, this one not waterproof. This, if this was waterproof, it would be my favorite ink, but it's not quite. So that's count against it, I suppose. Uh, this stuff comes in the little J. Herbin bottles, J. Herbon bottles. Uh, they're kind of a pain in the butt. I don't have one to show you because I, I got this as a sample and my other J. Herbon bottles are nowhere near. I should have prepared for that, I suppose. Um, in any case, this is a great ink. It's a little bit on the thin side, maybe? I've seen it described as watery and weak, uh, as I say right here in other uh, reviews. It's not my experience, but this medium uh, nib was is pretty, uh, well, fairly fine, so you get better concentration. Maybe if it was in a broader nib, it would be too watery or something, but uh, on the whole, this is a great ink. So definitely check out this oddly named J. Herban ink. See ya.